kindergarten. Now that our painting is completely dry, we can start the second process, which is collage. Now a collage is using any type of material pieces. We're going to be using pieces of paper and putting them together to make one picture. So we'll be using glue to put ours together. If you flip your picture over, you're gonna notice right away that I've printed out some lines for you. There's some skinny rectangles. There's some big squares. There's some um, squares that have been cut. Uh, these are going to be the pieces that we're going to be gluing down first. So step number one is very simple. You'll grab your box of scissors. And we're not gonna bubble cut this because we need the shapes and we're gonna use this entire sheet of paper. So we are going to do line cutting. Please remember line cutting is focus cutting. It should be slow because we want to cut on the line so that we keep our shape. So you'll put the paper in all the way with your scissors all the way open and you'll close it all the way. And then you can keep moving down the line. For the rest of this, remember, I don't cut this fast, but I am gonna speed the video up so that way you can see me cutting all the pieces so you know exactly what to do. Uh, once you're done cutting out all of your pieces, we can go ahead and we can put our scissors back in our container because we're done. Uh, cutting for today. For the next step, you're going to need a few things. Uh, I'm going to pick up my pieces and I'm going to be gluing next. So the first thing I need to do is I need to put a piece of cardboard down in front of me so that way we're not getting glue all over our table. I'm going to set my corner, uh, my pieces up here in the corner. After you have your cardboard, your pieces are all cut out, you're going to go ahead and go over to the supply station. You're going to just see a big stack of colored paper. And you can choose any of these colors. Uh, to use for your background. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab blue. You don't have to use blue, you could use purple, you could use red, pink. You get to choose. If it's in this stack, you choose just one paper. Before we get glue and start gluing down, this is going to be where... Before we grab uh, any glue and start gluing our pieces down, we're going to just go ahead and, and play with these like we would if we were um, doing a puzzle. So I'm probably going to stay away from my blue pieces right now and um, I'm just going to put my pieces on my colored sheet of paper. The only rule is this. You can have your, your pieces going up and down, you can have them uh, going left and right, but the rule is going to be this. We wanna be able to see the colored background. So with your pinky, you wanna make sure that your colored piece of paper is a pinky distance away from the edges and we also want to make sure that it's a pinky distance away from the next piece of paper. So we want to have a gap between our pieces and I'm just using my pinky. 
you can put these any way, but I want to just plan this out because if we were gluing right now, once we glue it down, we would either have to rip it up. This is a great way to kind of decide where you want to put your pieces um, before we start gluing. So once you think that uh, you have your pieces where you like them, again, just double check. It can be more than a pinky. Like this is probably two pinkies away. That's okay. We just don't want our pieces on, um, on top of each other because it will make the next step really hard uh, to finish. So if you like where your pieces are, um, keep them the way they are. Get rid of your extra pieces and we can just set those off to the side. You can grab your brush and your glue. And this is really important because a lot of the times students will want to grab a piece and they'll want to start gluing on top of their, their project. Make sure that you're doing your gluing on the cardboard. That way we're not getting glue stains on our project. And we are putting glue on the back, on the white side. We are not putting glue on our colored painted paper. So we will dip, dip, just the tip, spin the brush so it doesn't drip. And because it is a shape, we're gonna go around the outside first. And then we're gonna do an X in the middle. Again, you'll notice that I don't have glue all over my brush, it's not on my handle, and I don't have big globs because I used all the glue. Please do not leave your brush in the glue, you can just set it on top of the cardboard. Once your piece has glue on it, we can go ahead and we can slowly put it down where you had it and before you push and hold make sure it's exactly where you like it can we see the blue paper or whatever color your paper is going all the way around because if you don't like it right now I can lift this up and I can still move it if you like where it is then you will push and hold count to five slow in your head move your hand down to the bottom Push and hold, count to five, slow in your head. And I always like to go around the outside edges and rub it down to make sure my piece doesn't come up. And then I'll do the center. You'll just keep gluing all your pieces until you are completely done. If class finishes, but you don't have them all glued down, it's okay. You can just carry it like this and bring it to the drying rack. Just be careful because they are going to bounce um, around. So you're gonna wanna walk slow and you're gonna wanna hold it like a tray like we've been doing um, all year and you'll be able to finish gluing it at, uh, at the beginning of next class. So this is it for uh, this step. So if you are finished and there's still time left in class, you can go ahead and grab the next video, which are over by the supplies. If class is uh, done or really close to being done, you can get your supplies organized and you can wait to put it on the drying rack in the back.